So once again welcome back to CGP Add program for beginners. Last time we had seen how we can implement gradient background to the action bar and uh, uh, in this video we will see how we can implement or set our company's logo into the uh, action bar of our application. We will be doing it just three simple steps. First of all we will be copying our resource image file into the drivable folder and after that we will creating a layout file which will be using the drivable layout uh, drivable resource image file and lastly in step 3 the coding part we are programmatically using that layout file to set the logo into the action bar of our application. So without wasting our time let's just start. Copy your resource image file and paste it into the uh, drivable folder. Here click OK. Give it name of your own choice I will be leaving it as, as it is. Uh, this is a git dialog because uh, my project is integrated with github that's why it uh, appears every time the moment I make changes to my directory. So in step 2 let's just create layout file, new drivable file, give it name, file name, whatever you can give of your own choice. I will be going with custom image, change its root element from constraint layout to relative layout and just click ok. Uh, ok that's it. Um, relative layout has been created. Here we are uh, uh, going to create uh, image view element, give it width and height, width of uh, match parent and height uh, of wrap content and set that layout into the center of the action bar for that uh, set layout center in parent and uh, set its value to true ok our layout uh, has been ready uh, almost I give it the path of uh, to the drivable uh, re image resource file drivable slash abc let's just employ it into the uh, program for that let me just go with the best practices uh, always give comments to your code as we have uh, started our uh, Android journey our program will be growing gradually so just stick to that best practice the moment you start your uh, Android application projects so uh, uh, access that action bar that we have had lastly created in our previous videos that action bar we are accessing that action bar to set the logo set display custom enable so it will be welcoming the upcoming changes set display show custom enable true after that uh, we had to set the layout inflator to get the context of uh, inflator class which will help us to set the view which will be used by the action bar so layout inflator give it this variable some name and uh, set its value equals to this dot get system service here it is uh, get system service here it is and give it the con context as a parameter context dot oops context dot layout mm, where it is layout inflator service here it is okay after that we oh, oops why it is giving an error let me just see it says we have provided object while it is requiring layout inflator so we'll just downcast it and uh, error will be poof after that set uh, a view component it is giving an error because we haven't imported its class we'll do it in, in the coming minute so let's just set the inflator and give it the path to the custom layout that we have created or dot layout dot custom image and uh, set the second parameter as null and uh, import that view class bring your cursor on that uh, class name it will be help you to import that class automatically after that action bar dot set custom view and give it the parameter a uh, view as a parameter let, let me just change that name from v to view always give some readable names to your variables so it can be it, it can help you remember your code later later on in the uh, whatever time you come back to your code so give view as a parameter okay we are done we have created the action bar with an image uh, at its center let's just uh, execute our application and see the results oof here you can see the image at the center of the action bar how beautiful overall look that application gives okay that's it this is all for this tutorial if you find this video informative and helpful do subscribe to this channel and don't forget to stick your comments or issues into the comment box